What's going on guys, War Chariot here, and it is time to wrap things up by killing Garman and then Moon Presence. First, we need to consume three of the four umbilical cords to form one full cord. And they each have their own lore bit, which is kind of interesting. Alright, so... I'm guessing we can just use it. Okay. Now it is time to take out Garman. I kind of want to try some fire paper. Because it said we had to consume them. And I'm guessing use means consume. Uh, let's put on the hand cannon. Just for shits and giggles. Do I have the right runes on? What runes are those? No, I do not. Let's put the right runes on real quick. Alright, so... Let's go with raise HP, raise stamina, and let's have um, higher blood vial max. I also found out that you can uh, have a higher blood vial max plus 5 if you get the other rune, but it is a chalice dungeon rune, I believe, and... We need to do those to get that. Hey, it's Garman. What's up? Good hunter. You've done well. The night is near its end. Now, I will show you mercy. You will die. Forget the dream and awake under the morning sun. You will be freed from this terrible hunter's dream. No. That's like the good ending. Dear, oh dear. What was it? The hunt? The blood? Or the horrible dream? It doesn't matter. It always comes down to the hunter's helper to clean up after these sorts of messes. Oh, shit. Kind of a weird slope to like fight him on. Oh shit. I don't know what attacks are parryable and which ones aren't.
Here comes the pistol. Kind of aiming for whatever attacks look variable. I honestly have no clue. Hey. Whoa. Oh shit, where'd he go? He is a quickie. Yo, that's an AoE. Okay. Now I only have five blood vials, so I'm just going to do this attempt and see if I can, how far I can get with five, five blood vials. Oh shit. He doesn't do a ton of damage. Dodged right into that jump. Okay. Alright. Doesn't seem insane, although... Pretty sure it has a phase 2. Where, um... I'm supposed to... Use... Where it uh, does like the 
100% health reduction or 99% health reduction. I'm supposed to use like the period after it does that to like gain it back through rally. Damn it, why do I keep fucking dodging into that? Alright, dodging. Stop fucking me over. a bad idea for you to do this shit, man. It allows me to get, like, so much fucking hidden. Like... Oh, shit. He's dead. Yeah, that attack he does leaves him, like, so open. Like, it's not even funny. Wow, that is a lot of blood, blood echoes, 230,000. Are you cold? Good hunter. Well, there you have it. That is Garmin and Moon Presence. So, Garmin has a boss fight. Um, if you don't abuse the parry mechanic he seems like he is going to be uh, a bit of a challenge especially in phase two he's very quick so i probably wouldn't use a weapon like the wheel i'd probably use like the gig saw untransformed because it's quicker um obviously the parry mechanic makes the fight uh, a little bit trivial if you go that way me i don't give a fuck if i can parry him i'm gonna try to parry him that's just kind of how i'm gonna fight it you know uh He's parryable, you know, so that's something you can take advantage of. Um, if he wasn't parryable, then obviously you can take advantage of it, but they made him that way, so you know, do what you want to do. Moon Presence, um, thought it would be a lot harder, but it didn't hit hard really. And it seemed like that one attack it did just let me get like 
tons of damage in, especially with a uh, two-handed buffed wheel that's, you know, fully upgraded. We did do this post-DLC, so technically I'm supposed to do this, well, technically, like, before the DLC came out, you would do it, you know, post Wetners, which would make each fight a bit harder. So there is that. Overall, you know, good boss fights, uh, very aesthetically pleasing fights, and overall very aesthetically pleasing game. Now, um, it's Chalice Dungeon time. So this is the end of the official playthrough. Uh, this is going to be, you know, main game, DLC, all that. That is the official end. Now, we do Chalice Dungeons, which... Uh, episode 35 will be the first of all the chalice dungeons, you know, we'll work through all the layers and move up the headstones and also do short root chalices. It'll be titled something like Bloodborne uh, Playthrough Episode 35 Chalice Dungeon 1 or Chalice Dungeon whatever, or, you know, Chalice Dungeon Episode 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, whatever. Um, you know, so that's how that'll be labeled. It'll be in the same playlist, it'll just be right after this episode. So if you're interested in watching those, um, you know, that's where you can find it. Same playlist, it'll be right after this episode, and we'll go through that. The playthrough will pretty much end after we complete all known Chalice Dungeons. Then the, you know, the, this playlist will end, the playlist that all these playthrough episodes are in. And then I'll probably post other Bloodborne videos, uh, I'll probably do some PvP, probably... You know, maybe I'll do another playthrough, or I'll do like a challenge playthrough, or I'll do like a novelty playthrough where I use like a certain weapon or something. You know, because now that I'm, you know, post Garmin and all that, I'll have access to pretty much every weapon in the game. So yeah, that is that. Overall, this is probably... On, on a day where I'm feeling Bloodborne, this is my favorite Soulsborne game of all time. Um, just like on a day where I'm feeling some Dark Souls, Dark Souls 3 would be my favorite Soulsborne game of all time. Just depends what I'm feeling at the moment, I guess, uh, whether Dark Souls 3 or Bloodborne is my favorite game. Right now, obviously, you got Bloodborne on the brain, so we're, we're loving Bloodborne a little bit more. Bloodborne wins by far in um, boss design and, you know, things of that nature. Uh, enemy design, like, it's just, you know, Dark Souls 3 can't comprehend. Uh, well, not comprehend, but can't compare really with that. I mean, Dark Souls 3 had some good bosses, but this game just has bosses that make you go, what the fuck were they thinking when they made this shit? Uh, so, that's pretty much it. I'm going to end the episode here, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you in the next episode when we take on Chalice Dungeons.